Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to weave text in and out of an image using Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by duplicating your background layer. Next, click on the quick selection tool from the left menu and then hit select subject. Use the plus minus brushes to clean up the selection. You can also use select and mask to refine the selection further. Once done, click on the add layer mask button. Now create a brand new layer and use the text tool in the left menu to add some text to your image. Use the move tool to adjust and transform the text to your liking. Drag the subject layer all the way to the top so the text is behind it. With the layer mask selected, click on the brush tool from the left menu and make sure the hardness is set to 100%, mode is normal, and the opacity and flow are also set to 100%. Now change the foreground color to black. Remember, black conceals and white reveals. Next, paint over the part of the model's body that you would like to hide behind the text. Note we have a duplicate copy of the subject in the background layer, which is still active. So it will fill any areas not covered by the text. I'm also going to use the crop tool to crop the image a little bit from the left. To add a gradient to your text, click on the new adjustment layer button and choose gradient. From the gradient dropdown, I'm going to select a purple gradient. To clip the gradient so it just affects our text layer, hold the Alt or Option key and click on the line between the two layers. You can always double click on the gradient icon and select a different gradient to change it. If you wanted to go one step further and match the highlights and shadows of your background image to that of your text, Click on the new adjustment layer button and select curves. Now click on the clipping button and select the curves icon. Hold the alt or option key and click on auto. In this window, choose find dark and light colors and use the shadows color picker to find a dark area from the background image. Repeat these steps for the midtones and the highlights color pickers as well. Click OK when done. Now the dark and light areas of your text should match that of the background. Finally, to bring everything together, I'm going to add the color lookup adjustment layer and choose teal orange plus contrast profile from the lookup table dropdown. Feel free to adjust the opacity to your liking. Now let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.